Unfortunately, I was wrong. We are not seeing new Bitcoin all-time high this month. Election matter will not come. All our meme coin holdings are actually going to zero. Bitcoin is going back to the bottom of the range, absolutely decimating the alts. Bitcoin dominance is going to 80%. Crypto market is dying. You should probably find yourself in an AI job somewhere. We're in the midst of the correction currently. And the idea, the whole concept that I think we need to figure out currently what actually will be coming next. Are we going to the loss of the range? Why people are de-risking? What is happening on the marketplace? What is the next meme coin narrative to actually pump out there? What awaits the crypto market moving further? Along with a very, very interesting meme coin situation that is happening and around Mudan better place at this stage. I will be sure in my opinion whether or not I think Mudan will be able to push it further and what will be happening with the better place of Mudan out there in the marketplace. Yesterday I called the death of AI meta and specifically this was the day where AI meta died. Probably I'm just controlling this market myself, right? Like this video, subscribe to this channel. You don't want to miss out on this content moving further. And let's actually start. We just recently had a piece of news that Modern will be listed on Binance Perpetuals, which pushed the price to X from the bottoms from $70 million market cap to $150 million. Um, ideally, if it would be the asset that actually had the chance of reversal, you kind of could see that it started to form the same type of pattern as the range of assets out there. So probably it will essentially stay in upturned consolidation from there, build a beautiful cup and handle, have a giant uh, resistance area about this level, get ourselves a candle and move higher. If it would be the asset that actually has a chance of survival, if it was not born dead in the first place. Unfortunately, I do think it's born dead just because of the fact it is based on a retail narrative out there. 100% and has very, very huge whales that milked the market nicely at uh, this run up. We all have to understand that these type of tokens, like it's a very, very rare situation that like they are going up just because of people buying and people being bullish and, and things like that now, especially in the current PVP type of setup. These are usually farms with controlled supply with a group of cable whales essentially supporting this thing and pushing it higher. In our case, we just had this mood and craziness in the retail part of the market as well. Currently, we had this two time X increase and we also uh, do see certain better place of mood and running. From my point of view, I think that this is the pump that should be dying out and this is the chance to exit the asset if you did not exit yet. And I think a bunch of people exited just, just following this short 100%. 100% a bunch of people exited. Interestingly that we essentially stopped at this resistance area, right? So we got heavily rejected from here and from that point of view it kind of looks similar now as a range of charts out there. Just that a range of charts for specifically through memes that were not able to break out like Trump, like maybe Bobo, they are uh, at the bottom of this range at this stage, right? Right here, currently. And uh, we will talk about them as well because it's a very interesting situation on the marketplace. We have to figure out if BTC is actually going lower and if these meme coins are actually going to the bottoms of the range. If so, it won't be looking great for us with our current holding. So what's interesting is that this is essentially the fractal of BTC that I copied. This is this fractal. Uh, you can see that we formed a reversal here with this. And essentially here we also formed a reversal, 100%. You can see it, right? I will remove this corrective channel formation, right? We have this week, we had this week, we have this week. We formed a reversal here too. We are surging higher. I will just remove this uh, thing for a bit. We surged high to 78.8 and essentially it's a very, very simple short setup. I would even say that it's a too obvious short setup at this stage. I would expect us to receive a reaction from 67.2 area level. And as you can see, we touched it once, we almost touched it the second time and we definitely received the reaction from it thus far. I would say that people are de risking into the weekend at this stage, and it's a very, very important weekend. I was saying that the last weekend was very, very important. One, two. Unfortunately, we did have our correction on Monday, Tuesday, and all like bulk of the move of the previous week was essentially eaten by the price action on, on the current week, too. But this week would be very, very important. If we are growing during this week, 
we might just see our confirmation on the marketplace that we are finally going to BTC all time high, right? If we would be growing right now, I'm just seeing that people are the risking before the weekend as this usually happens. They're seeing that, oh, like maybe we're building like a double top here and we're forming a corrective channel. Probably we will go to to this level 65.4 at least or even essentially create a new low right here to liquidate the people that entered longs at this level right so my overview at this stage is that we should be receiving reaction from 67.2k level right and moving further from there if i would adjust this fractal right here if i would just move it lower kind of looks similar this far right you kind of can never like predict these things going like this way exactly specifically the way you want them to go. We are looking at the fractals to just understand like what are the patterns there and what type of patterns might be followed on the marketplace. This is my overview for BTC at this stage. Very, very important we can BTC price action wise. However, I do like the sentiment on the marketplace and I do like the fact that a lot of people are de-risking currently. Again, it's a very, very obvious de-risking event. We also had a liquidity extraction event uh, before this correction, which is the AI meme coin method, which extracted a bunch of liquidity from other meme coins out there, from ALS, 100%, it extracted a bunch. And currently it's dying. I called its death yesterday, right? And today I actually see a range of people saying that I'm selling all of my AI coins. Interesting, right? How the fuck I'm able to predict this correctly? And I do think that the next meta coming to us should actually be Politify. But currently we'll go through the Mudank and we'll go through better plays that are surging up higher with the Mudank as well. But as you can see, essentially, they don't hold the pumps. People are selling into them because people are not stupid. They don't want to like believe this thing again. And yeah, it, it just was a very, very nice entry point if you're playing this game this way, right? Like 80% correction, if not even more. And this is like a usual Solana default playbook right 97 percent correction all right this is extraordinary like this thing was dead one other thing that is surging up uh, and is essentially it's a better play to Muden is manu i'm not seeing it for some reason like technically it looks kind of nice you might say that yeah this was our wave one this is our wave two we should be kicking off into wave three i just want to see a little bit more consolidation here like if this thing will have a chance to run they will need to have a little bit more consolidation to my liking like it's not enough from my point of view for this thing just to reverse obviously we will have crazy ass narrative the market return and things like that it may be playing out right now i'm not seeing this i do think that this pump will just get sold into right maybe it will upgrade the floor a little bit so the previous floor was like three to four million dollars right now maybe it will be like around four to five right but i'm not seeing this thing to be honest just surging back up from here uh, this is like i think the most famous chinese tiktok dog just maybe if you would want to bet on these things happening and it's it, it actually quite a smart bet if you would uh, think about these things from this point of view so follow the thought process we have modern Mudang already had a Binance perpetual listings. What is the reason for the people from the market, harsh PVP scenario that we're in currently, to buy into Mudan if like the main bullish event that you're usually looking forward to already happened? I would say there are zero reasons to actually be buying into it. Therefore, you might think that, all right, there are some better places on the marketplace, 100%. I just need to pick the one that might have the highest possibility to actually go on Binance next. And one of the trader I'm following, a very, very smart and successful trader, he just said that he's building a position in this thing just because he thinks that this is might be the next thing that will go to Binance. And with this type of better place, you kind of have this beacon that, that you can look forward to, right? And at the same time, it definitely makes sense that if Mudan got listed, one of the better place might actually get listed as well, depending on the market caps, depending on the things that are happening there. And Binance is also like Asian focused, like more, I would say, Chinese thing. And Manu is definitely like the most famous Chinese dog on TikTok, Asian dog on TikTok, right? So this is kind of the thought process you might be following here. Uh, it's an interesting bet. You won't be buying like very, very uh, far from the bottom as well. It shows it did 80%, but it's more like maybe 50 Maybe if, if you would count from 3.2, yeah, it did 100%, right? It's almost like there were some insiders, right? So 
with this type of plays, what you usually want to do when some when the news about Mudang are, are coming, because people definitely started to buy here. You would want to check wallets that were buying here. Probably they are some insiders, right? At the same time, now, most likely uh, these are fresh wallets and they essentially just send some supply of soul there from, from the exchange so you cannot trace it and then they just buy into, into the asset. So this is just one of the bets that you might be making. Betting on Binance listing for one of the Mulden better plays and Binance definitely kind of showed that there is a possibility for that. It's just interesting that Binance listing did not come when this thing was at the top. I do believe that people will just sell into the pump and I do not believe in this meta return from my point of view. Even with Manu, like for some reason I'm not seeing the catalysts. At the same time, what we have to check and what people might actually be excited about because it's very, very important. As I used to tell you uh, all the time, corrections are very, very important overall in the marketplace. Corrections, they change the meta on the market. And if you're early to the meta, you will be making shit ton of money in this market. I've just randomly seen a nice reaction from Kama, one of the few tokens that received a nice price action reaction recently. And you can easily see what I mean by saying that I would like to see a bit more consolidation from cute animal Muden tokens in comparison to other assets on the marketplace. Here we have a huge consolidation from 22nd of August, right now 25th of October two months of consolidation. We try to break out, we were sent back in. These are the assets that are way more prepared for breakouts upwards in comparison to the assets that are still like, or just here. I would say like the current pump that we've seen in Mudang and others, it might be this pump, right? Maybe something like this. So from my point of view, me just, just looking at the charts, I would say if they even have the chance to survive, despite the fact they were bored that, right? They will probably need a bit more time because even like Binance listing of the core asset in the meta does not revive the, the assets for a long amount of time, right? So with Kama overview out there, kind of looks like it, it's close to be ready. And I'm starting to see some people, some great traders in the marketplaces as well, saying that election meta will be returning. Be careful with your AI coins, take profits. Election and cute animals meta will be returning. I'm mostly thinking about the assets that I shared with you yesterday, like Selfie, like Inu, like Zazu, like others. These things, they should be running over time and they definitely should be catching a bit based on the charts, based on how much time they are essentially consolidating at these levels at, at this stage as well. Other thing that I actually wanted to bring up to your attention, Mark, essentially a meme coin regarding Mark Cuban on the marketplace. It's a new one. You have to be very, very cautious with this one. I was a little bit just taken on chain just for this small amount of time. And I've seen like a range of wallets buying right here. And like some of them, they were buying in crazy amounts. Like they were buying $80,000 worth of this coin at around 1.6 to $2 million market cap. You might say that uh, we are on this like very, very important trend line at this stage and this thing thus far was just going up only this is just a meme about mark cuban and mark cuban is a billionaire in the us and right now uh, he is supporting harris like heavily he's against Musk too so it's a whole different like it's like certain people actually saying this is the new boden and there are cto leads behind boden who are essentially on this coin as well which is a very, very interesting setup if you think about that. I would say it is something that I shared with you, I think, in the previous video as well, is that one of the hardest things on Solana is that with the appearance of new meta, you'll probably have new tokens being created. So it's definitely harder to be able to buy like into some older stuff, uh, just have your nice entry point and just hold. Despite the fact we have things like Trump, like Kama, which I think will be doing well in the upcoming election, meta but most of the times usually something new runs which from one point of view for the traders is a great thing because you have the exposure to experience all the upward movement from scratch right from that point of view this is why people get rocked and scammed a lot because if you don't have price history like how can you be sure that you will not get rocked with this type of chart out there from 22nd of october till 25th this thing is just alive for the three days I'm just checking out, I'm just observing. If we'll go lower, I might be buying more. Just something I wanted to bring up to your attention if this will turn into the next 
bought it. I do also like the uh, share of the liquidity market cap out there because liquidity is, is uh, 400,000 and market cap is, is 10 million. It's like 25x difference. It's just crazy. Like it's this thing should be running once it gets attention. Overall, I would say try to look in your portfolios, try to look in your watch lists and really understand what are the tokens that are moving currently. Try to understand the current meta. I think you should probably like check out things on Palm Fun even on, on, on new parents, like understand what would be the new meta in order to position yourself beforehand. My bet, as I was essentially saying, is election. But it seems like these matters, they usually lie for like eight to nine to 10 days. AI was a bit longer because it was kind of an innovation, but a range of AI tokens like nine to 10 days, I would say uh, this was the, the best time for them to essentially be live out there. My overall prediction at this stage is that essentially with BTC going to new all-time high, Bitcoin dominance, should be surging higher in the morning my morning btc dominance was right here 59.2 right now we see it's correct right there was a prediction from benjamin coven that we should be going somewhere around to 60 percent range and somewhere within within this range we should be topping this is honestly one of the main narratives for this cycle again because i'm talking to people they're quite exhausted by btc being at around the same levels but alts are still like decimated in comparison to the levels that they were in march and april and yeah the main narrative for us just wait for the downwards price action on btc dominance once it will have a longer correction period we will be doing quite nicely and there's a very very high chance that uh, the correction period for btc dominance we will be entering quite soon will be actually the long like a bear market on btc dominance which will mean that it will essentially be present on the market for a long amount of time the reason i'm i'm showing you this is because i would like to see what was happening with btc dominance back in march and uh, april of this year yes so we can see it topped at the end of february and then we had a downwards like spiral till end of march which kind of was like our first part of the alt season also beautiful cup and handle on, on this chart and then it topped again in 14th of april interesting 100 percent but if you would check out mark review on this thing we are up only for so much time just look at this like we are up only since what since march 21st of since march 29th of essentially 2021 which is actually crazy so we are up only from 18th of may 2021 and despite the fact that dominance was in the range here right we had our second part of the bull market in 2021 which ended around November 26. I do remember this day. Interesting. After this time, dominance was still going down. So yeah, these are your bottom numbers. Like this is your range. You are the tops of the range currently. You can see the 100%. What we should be seeing is us going lower back to the bottom of the range. This would be your end of the bull market. And you would want to start aggressively taking profits once we break through this level once we break through 46 47 percent for btc dominance just start taking profits aggressively maybe this cycle will be a bit different because we have btc tf and i think market can grow despite the price of btc just because of the fact that the price of btc is supported by different money sources by different liquidity sources like previous cycle degens has previous cycles Digen had to buy had to inflate the price of btc to attract as more fish into the sea to kill to rob right this cycle uh wall street is doing this for us right this is the difference so this is my overview for the current state of the market something I actually wanted to check as well is the chart of trump chart of trump should tell us interesting things out there yeah, so we had crazy week. I would not want to kind of focus on this week currently because yeah, this is just, it's um, it's not like a standard price action and it's great it happened, but it's probably just one of the whales just selling this asset. Like on more liquidity asset, like on a large liquidity asset, you would not be seeing weeks like this. So we are back into this range. We try to break out, we get rejected, right? And we are back and we are consolidating. Real question is whether or not we will be consolidating for a large amount of time or we will just be breaking out from here. My view is that we should be just breaking out from here. But I want to focus your attention on the chart of Ethereum. They pretty much repeat the whole thing. Yeah, it's just that 
it's crazy. Just look at the chart of Ethereum. It's just that like this means they are lagging a little bit, probably as as better place. But we were right here at 18th of October. All right, let's check out the chart of ETH, ETH on 18th of October. Like we were already at the bottom, so we already dumped from this level, right? Because these are essentially levels of July, right? And if you would essentially look at this piece of chart, right? And you would apply it right here, it's the same thing. This is what's crazy, to be honest with you, right? Do I expect consolidation? We definitely have seen some consolidation on ETH here, but we also have to understand these are much lower liquidity assets. These are the assets that have way less liquidity in them. Therefore, all the parts on the charts with them, they should be coming quicker. And this is why like we're trading them. This is why we're in them, because we want to be catching this volatility, catching this upside, right? You can say like, this is our uptrend. We essentially reversed from the downtrend. We just printed um, a higher low. People are bearish when we are printing higher low. And what's interesting to me is also the chart of uh, Solana to Ethereum, because people are very, very, bullish on solana currently and they're bearish on ethereum and the reason i have the circles outlined here is because the same type of sentiment was happening each and every time when we were at the tops despite this fact we essentially higher and higher and higher but honestly i do not understand this thing fully let me kind of explain this to you and remove this kind of psi from yourself right I already, for me, bring you back into reality. In order to do this, we have to see what was happening with ETH in March. ETH was $4,100. And at the tops, ETH was $4,800. If we would divide, we would get a 15% difference from Ethereum or local highs marks in March and Solana and, and Ethereum all-time highs overall from the previous cycle. 15% percent difference what do we see on solana it's important to check 209 dollars with the ultimate high of 216 dollars we can easily do the same exercise we can see this is the 20 percent difference do you see the psy up that they're trying to enslave on you the whole talk is happening it's just because solana is just such a shitty asset it went to zero in the bear market and that's why it has this type of upside currently, because Ethereum did not went to zero, because it's not a shitty asset. And this is a shitty asset, and that's why it went to zero. And all this upside essentially connected with the fact this thing just went to zero. Because of the fact this thing went to zero, because it's a shitty asset, not working like blockchain, with a bunch of memes to just rob people with cabals, with, with robbing people, it's crazy. Because it's a shitty asset, because it went to zero. Some people were able to buy at this zero, right? And they were able to capitalize nicely on this. And that's why they're screaming to you about this asset. But just from the fact of comparing all time highs and local highs of Ethereum and Solana from this cycle, Ethereum outperformed Solana. It was only 15% away from all time high. Solana was 20% away. Do you see this? Do you understand the size of the PSY up? They're trying to enslave on you so you will buy into their shitty meme coins. And follow them this is crazy to me and the reason people are screaming that solana outperformed ethereum is because this is a shitty asset that went to zero vaporware went to zero in the bear market ethereum did not went to zero if ethereum would went to zero we'll see what would be happening and i think it would essentially have the same type of price action out there but from local highs and previous highs ethereum outperformed solana this cycle i just shared this with you so this is my overview. Very, very exciting weekend. I will be updating you anyway tomorrow and the day after. So stay tuned. It's very important to be present currently and uh, don't buy into people the risking. Don't, don't try to like sell and exit. Just hold your assets. Obviously, if you're not holding AI coins, right? If you're holding AI coins, be careful. If you're holding anything like long term or things from maybe you're betting on some upcoin methods like election, you're holding election tokens, hold them. Should be right. We are in a very, very similar situation to the middle uh, end of September when uh, people thought it would be bearish, they were de-risking and they absolutely did not catch the crazy run up for the older meme coins on Solana out there and some meme coins on Ethereum as well. Thank you very much for watching this video. Stay healthy and rich and I will be seeing you tomorrow.